you are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Jane, Amanda, Monica, Carol, Althea, Susan, Maria, Deborah, Peggy, Cynthia, Bonita, Lydia, Cindy, Mary, Charlotte, Kathy, Karen, Yvette, Gina, Wanda, Donna, Helen, Kat, Tammy, Melissa, Emma, Keisha, Shanna, Dee, Virginia, and Vanessa. Thanks, guys. And thank you. A big shout out to my co-sponsors. You guys are amazing. Good morning, everyone. I am sorry. I thought I was completely ready, and then I forgot to set everything up so you guys would get the video, and I think I did that yesterday because I had the option to choose yesterday's video, so I'm not sure. No, yeah, it would have been right, right? I don't know. I th okay. Whatever. Welcome. Thank you for being here, and a very happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Here's a card I made. I made this months ago. Uh, but this isn't just a Mother's Day card. It doesn't even say Happy Mother's Day. It says, Mom, and always my mother, forever my friend. So I'm like, I had to find this card and because I have to give it to my mother tonight because we're going to go out and do Mother's Day tonight. Uh, so we do this every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And we all come and chat before the video. Thanks, everyone, for coming and chatting with me. Uh, it just makes my day to see everybody on Saturday morning. Today we have uh, a video afterwards where we hang out for Patreon supporters that um, pledge $5 or more. You actually get to be in video and there's a post with the link to do that after this video. And for all my supporters on YouTube and my Facebook fan page supporters, um, you also get to watch, and all my other patrons, you get to watch and chat too, kind of like your chat here. Um, but we get to see what other people are working on in their projects, and so that's fun. It's kind of like Brady Bunch style in the video. Um, yes, post pictures of your Mother's Day cards. And if it's too late this year, we can always make them next year. We can just search in the groups for Mother's Day and see all of the cards. Thanks, I'm glad you liked the um, golf cart ride last night. And hello to everybody on Facebook also. The chat that you see in the video is from YouTube. So if you wanna hang out in the chat on the screen, you go to YouTube and there's another reason you might wanna do that. Because every Saturday morning, thank you, Ronald, you are amazing. And it's because of Ronald that I have started doing giveaways every Saturday. So thank you, Ronald Kruger, you are amazing. Um, <laughs> here's, here's 10 for fun. Um, I do a giveaway every Saturday morning. It's not a whole lot. Uh, sometimes it's a little cricket cutie, sometimes it may be something else, and usually it's $15 through PayPal or Amazon gift card, however you want it. I'm spending $15, I'll give it to you any way you want, even through Facebook if you want. Um, so we're going to be doing a giveaway today, and I'm not waiting to the end, I don't think. Like I usually do it at the end just because I forget until the end because I'm so involved in design space, but we're... We're going to try to do it just randomly throughout. Um, and in order to enter, you must be live and you must be on YouTube in the chat. So if you've never chatted on YouTube, run over to YouTube. And if you're watching the replay, wait till next Saturday because it's too late for you. But if you're watching on Facebook or Twitch, because we are live on Twitch also, 
you can uh, come to YouTube, chat, figure out where to chat. You can click a button that says live chat. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate you guys subscribing also. Um, and the winner is chosen by Nightbot. Nightbot is a robot that will give you links and help you um, find things. And he randomly picks a winner. So it's not me choosing. It's it's random by this robot. And they will pick the winner. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. Are we ready to learn? Now, originally this video was just going to be about slicing because of my cards that I made. Everyone's like, how did you do that? And to me, it's so completely easy. Anybody can do it. So I'm going to kind of show you how I did that. I can't show you my card because I gave them to the cricket club here in the villages uh, to show them because I couldn't make it because I had to stay home with my sick puppy. Puppy's doing great now. He's com almost completely back to normal. I think he's only got two pills left to take of his medicine. He'll be fine. Um, and for those of you watching the replay and thinking, when is she going to get to the class? I'm sorry. No one pays me for the class. So thank you, Bucky mom. <laughs> I'm just updating everybody. And... If you have questions, please put them in all caps. If you have a question and it doesn't seem that I'm answering it, it could be because everybody in the chat is answering it. Lots of times other people answer the questions in the chat. So if you have a question, keep an eye on the chat also because they may answer it. Uh, and I do miss some questions because I'm looking at the design space screen. So if you have a question you really want answered, put it in caps copy it and then if i don't answer that question paste it again it's not because i'm ignoring you all right guys love you guys this is so fun let's get to design space okay i'm just gonna add some a graph because yes cheryl you are in chat okay uh what are we doing Okay, you know what? Uh, I was talking about slicing and then I changed it, it to slicing and welding because uh, people are doing that mom keychain and people are asking, can I change that to Grammy? I don't know how to do that. And then I saw Cricket have a heart doing it. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that because it's so completely easy. Um... Okay, I'm gonna, I saw Cricket shared one on Facebook last night. It was a heart keychain. So I'm going to show you how to make it. It's so easy. Well, I think it's easy. I haven't done it yet. So I'm going to like, you can reshape your shape. You can go find a shape, a heart in design space. There's tons of them. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Are these new? Oh, those are cute. They might not be new. I might have seen those. Those are cute. I don't remember them though. Oh, and look at this heart. Okay. I think I might have. I, so cute. Look at all the cards. Okay. They do have lots and lots of shapes of just hearts but we're just gonna work with this one for now. Um, so I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm going to align them so they're perfectly aligned. I could do top or bottom, it doesn't matter. It would be the same. And then I am going to get a little square. Um, you know what, I need to I want to keep these aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and use my arrow keys on my keyboard. Boom, boom, boom. You have to make sound effects. And I think I'm just going to align that right there. And you know what? I'm going to change the colors of these only so you guys can see the cut lines. So I just changed one and I go over here to color sync and just drop that down. And select them all. 
Now you see the cut lines here and weld. Got that? Oh, Ronald, you're amazing. Word of the day, completely, completely easy. That's awesome. Um, and then this is a keychain that you can fold. You can cut out of leather, fold it in half, put it around. Let me show you. I found these rings. I have these keychain rings. Look, purple, they kind of match my hair. I got a teal one too. I should have grabbed that. Didn't realize they match my hair. They're uh, keychain rings. And you just fold that square part around here and then glue the two pieces together. Now, they did have images on it uh, that said mom or I love mom. But to be completely honest, I don't want a keychain that says mom. I'd rather have my name or something on it. Um, but that's how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do the mom one. Oh, uh, so we're going to add text. We're going to do mom. All capitals is best when you're doing this. Now, you don't have to do the word mom. You can do um, any name or anything like that. Uh, let's move this up. Now... I was thinking when I was thinking about this video, I was thinking you probably have to do a big, uh, thick font. That's the only way I saw them. But I'm like, I don't think you have to. Do you? I'm thinking you can do any way you want. And maybe I'll have to cut it out. Maybe, you know what? I'm going to do my name. Because I want to see how it works. In my head, it works, but I haven't tried this. And maybe I'll just cut it out of paper and we'll do a quick test cut. I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm trying to go to the bottom, so I'm at the C's. Just because I always start looking from the top. And then I never get down to the bottom. Oh, I can just hold my mouse down here and it keeps going. Oh, I love that. Look at that font. That's cool. But we're not doing that one. <laughs> that must be a new one. Okay. I don't know what these are. Those are just plain. I'm going to go to Cricut once. Um, watercolor brush script. I don't know. Okay, let's try this one. We're going to move the letters closer together. So we click letter spacing. It, I don't know, it started something with a Z. I don't know if it was a Cricut one or one on my computer that I've never seen. Okay. So uh, maybe a little closer. You have to have them touch. Oh, that's line spacing. We want letter spacing. Yeah, if, I don't know how well this is going to be with this not touching here. Mm. Although, what you could do, and let me change the color of this so we can see it better. So you can see the cut lines. Because if we leave it like this, every single line here, that black line, is going to cut out. It's not going to be welded together. That's why we weld. Uh, I want to duplicate. Oh, I have to select it. Duplicate it. And we're going to save this duplication. And because I'm worried 
about this Y hanging off because there's nothing attaching it here and nothing attaching it here. I'm going to put a stabilizer there. I'm going to put a line across here and then I'm going to put make this go on top of it so it kind of makes it another color and you won't see that. So I'm going to add a shape, unlock it. We're going to make two of those. Make it smaller. Okay, now I'm going to weld these. Once I weld them, all I can do is unweld. Okay, now that doesn't look pretty, right? Um, let's say we do that in gray. But I'm going to weld this. The reason I'm welding is because I don't want the lines. Because if I were to group it or attach it, those lines are still there. So now if I make this a keychain or something, those little lines won't be as noticeable depending on what I do. But anyway, so we haven't made the keychain yet. Let me show you the mom one and then maybe I'll keep it and share it for you guys. Uh, but this is how you can do a name. So I need text. We're going to go back to mom. M-O-M capital because mom is the easiest the way these letters work. We're going to move them together. This font is Vario Calm Regular. Uh, Joyce on Facebook is asking how to change the colors on images. I showed that I think last week and I have lots of videos showing that. So if you go back to any of my recently done videos or my video from January on the updates, you'll learn how. Okay, so now we put them together. Let's change the color so we can see. The reason is, you guys, it looks like it's welded, right? Let's change them to yellow. Now you can see the lines. Okay, we are going to, let's go ahead and weld. Weld it. We are going to duplicate it, but we now we need to change this to the opposite. So it's it doesn't look much different, but it's the opposite. So when you fold these together, they will work. And I think I'm going to cut these out for you. And we need a shape. That's too big. It's too long. Maybe I need it a little longer. I've never made one of these. So you guys, this is just how you create things. So now I'm going to weld all this together. And now I'm going to change the color because I want it a different color than anything else on the mat because I will make it. Now I'm just gonna make it out of paper. So I'm gonna choose the orange one. Continue. I need to find some paper. I'm just going to do craft board. And okay. You guys want to see my messy desk? There's my mat. You're zoomed in. I'm just using this paper. I started using this paper for test cutting because I have a whole stack of this paper. Thank you, Ronald. See, Ronald has already paid for the giveaways. And we're really zoomed in. Sorry, guys. Oh, hit the cut button, Melody. 
How many people do that? Forget to hit the cut button after they load the mat. Try to zoom out. Why? Almost stop. Okay, that's never happened. Using the, I had the wrong blade in there. And that one's not done. There we go. Oh, I didn't have the paper at the top. That's what happened. See what I did? I didn't have the paper at the top of the thing. So we're just going to flip it over because it's the correct way on this one. Oh, and hit the cut button. Oh, uh, what they're making the keychains out of is leather, the faux leather. Yay, Liz! Okay, unload. Move this down. Now you really see my messy desk. Okay. Now you guys are coming back over here to me. Okay, now this isn't, not like I said, you'd use the Cricut Faux Leather. They have lots of colors and they're really pretty. Oh, I didn't think about size, but this fits. I think I can get it through. Look, <laughs> I'm having trouble getting it around. Although this is a keychain that will spread apart. So if you have to, you can spread it apart. And this is a small one. You could get bigger ones. So what you do is you put the little ring on like that and then fold it. I just, sorry, I was I have to hold my hands up really high so you can see. Then you just fold it and then glue it. See, I guess with the name on the other side, it would, your name would be backwards, but with the word mom, it's always right backwards or forwards. Yes, you can do faux leather on the Cricut Air 2, the Cricut Air, the Cricut Explore, and the Cricut Explore 1. Any Cricut machine that uses design space, you can cut faux leather. So isn't that cute? So easy. So easy. Um, so let's do this. Let me, do you guys want, let me clean up the file. I'm going to hit cancel. And yes. And actually these these hearts are really big. I'm going to, if you don't own this font, it's in access, I think, right? You can, you won't be charged. So I'm going to save this as keychain 
and I'll share it with you in the chat on Facebook. No, on YouTube. I, I'm not in the chat on Facebook, so I can't actually text back. It is so easy, Annette. So we saved it. Oh, do you guys know how to share a file? Let me show you. Please do not share any of the files I ever share with you. I'm going to pull this down to show you. Uh, so we're going to highlight that. I'm going to, well, I'll right click and copy so you can actually see it. Copy. Now I'm going to go to YouTube, the chat, and hit paste. And there it is. But there's a delay, so you guys might see it differently. Uh, so if you click on that, you should be able to get it. And um, make sure you comment so you will be entered into the giveaway because it's active users on YouTube who have been active in the last 15 minutes. But let me tell you this before we do the giveaway. We're going to do the giveaway now. Then we're going to talk about slicing. I'm going to kind of show you how I did that card with all the layering and drawing that everybody is doing now. Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, I have a new Facebook group. I know, another new group. But this group is something different. It's a subscription group. Facebook has asked me to open up a group where you pay to join. I could put any price I wanted on this group. I chose to put 99 cents. In this group, there's lots of benefits to this group. One of them is you get all my current files. So you get all my files for May, but only for 15 days. They're in the announcements. The link to the um, project are in the announcements. They will state there's a date posted with the links and on that date they will be deleted. Now, if you click on the link, it opens up Design Space, just like all my other files I shared, it opens up Design Space with the project and you can save it, save it as private, so click the check on public and you can keep that and use it forever. Okay, all of my files are made with Cricut images, so I try to make them out of free ones, like the heart is completely free. I'm not sure about the font. If you have access, that's font. Thanks, Ronald. Ronald says thumbs up the video, guys. Um, so you'll get my files. Every post in that group must be approved before it is sent. And to be, there's over 300 people in the group right now, and everybody's post has been approved. You guys are amazing. There's no drama. There's gonna be no sale post. I am not posting when there's a sale. I am not posting when there's a mystery box. You won't see any of that. If you want that, you have to be in some of my other groups or follow me on Facebook and my page and you can get all the sales posts. But that group is clean. There's gonna be no drama. It's gonna be amazing. You can share your Cricut projects, any of the Cricut projects. Um, so that's all good. It's so far, it's amazing. And there's topics. So there's topics in that group where you can click on, if you're looking for only iron on projects, you can click on iron on. Or if you're just looking for paper projects, you can click on paper projects and you will get, see what everybody else is doing just by clicking those links. And you don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll because you can just, every single post has a topic. Even if it's design space questions, you can click that and see what other people have asked and see their answers. So I think it's just, um, oh, is it a one-time charge? It's actually free for seven days. Everybody gets a free seven-day trial. So you can hop in there, take the files and leave if you want to. Um, but uh, it's 99 cents. And I think Facebook charges you uh, 30 days from the day that you, you're first charged. So maybe after seven days, they'll charge you if you don't leave. And then 30 days after that, they'll charge you 99 cents. Thank you, Margaret Lee. Yeah, if you have questions, I will be in there answering questions and um, chatting and whatever we need to do in there. 
Okay. Uh, you know what, Lori? I think you can draw on the leather to write. I was at, I was thinking that this morning. I'm thinking I want to try to draw. I have not tried it. So I say, hey, test it. Cut a square of no, you don't even have to do that. Just take a pen, a Cricut pen, and write on the leather. Let it dry and see what happens. That's how you test it. You don't have to do anything special. Just test it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, let's do the giveaway now. And then we're going to talk about your settings. If you have, if you don't have a maker, uh, let me, where's my night box? There you are. Should we let him choose a winner now? Yeah, so it's a monthly charge to join that group of 99 cents. Yeah, so each month you'll be charged the 99 cents. Um, well, now that's a great question. What's the name of the Facebook group? Let me go find it for you and give you a link. It's actually uh, Melody Lane Files. <laughs> and they won't let me change the name. There's a link to the group. Uh, it's, it's also uh, Melody Lane Files or Melody Lane's current project files only. The reason it says that is because you only get the current ones, but you can post your own projects. You don't have to just use my projects. Okay, are you guys ready? Have you, have you been chatting? Okay. We're going to say roll it. That means he picks a winner. Okay, hold on. Here we go. All right, and we have a winner. Let me show you guys over here. The winner is Alexis. Alexis Gabrielle. Congratulations. No, you don't have to choose a number this time. It's just um, active users. So Alexis, email me at melodylanedesigns at gmail.com. Okay. Uh, oh, we're going to... Oh, let me show you. Now, if you have the Explore machines... And not the maker, when you're choosing um, paper like this, you can always have it set to custom. If you turn your dial to custom, then you can choose any of these. Uh, well, it won't let you choose like wood and stuff or like the mat board. But you can choose all the materials from here, just like we can with the maker. So if you turn your dial to custom, like if you're doing glitter iron-on, you do not want to use the iron-on dial. You want to come here and choose glitter. But you have to spell it correctly or type it correctly. And then you will want to do the glitter iron-on and you'll get the best cut. Okay. Um, what else? Okay, I'm going to start a new one because you guys have this one. Let me share it over there. Again. And hold on. I lost my. I lost all my, 
I can't share the Facebook link again. One of my moderators could share the Facebook link to the Facebook group. I lost my things. <laughs> okay, let's start. Let's go to a new project. And what are we doing? We are going to do some slicing like uh, I did that card that everybody is doing. And I'm going to make the size, uh, the width, we're going to do five. We're going to make it five by seven. Let's change the color of the background. Let's change this to white. Let's add some shapes. So to do the card like I did, what I did was, I'm gonna make a square like that. I'm gonna duplicate this square. I could have just duplicated that one too. And I'm gonna make it a little smaller. And I'm gonna change the color. So you can see that. So I'm making, I'm just lining these up. I got to change this because it is a little different. And I'm just eyeing it, I think. I'll move that down more. Okay, I'm going to move this one out of the way so I can grab these two and align and center. I think I need to make this one just a little longer. Okay, and center them again. Now what I'm gonna do is slice. Now, if I were to grab all three of these, slice is not lit up because I have three things selected. If you cannot slice, the reason the answer is in here because something is attached, something is grouped, you have more than two. You can only slice two images. So let me click slice. Now, I could select those and align center. Let me move these out of the way. And I can slice these. So now, when I, let me kind of keep it like this. I pull that out of the way. Now, I attach writing to this. And then this is kind of how it looks after it's cut. And then when it's all cut and drawn, I remove this piece and then I glue these two pieces on the mat or on the card. Not You don't glue it to your mat. Uh, Karen, I did not finish the name Melody. You would do it exactly the same way as you did Mom. Um, and also what I've learned when I was making that card, I thought, well, I can just take that and make it smaller and do it. But then the line is smaller. If you want it exactly this size, you have to start all over again and make this that size again. But if you don't want it the exact same spacing, you make that smaller. But I had to do one of these for each one. Let's make the yellow one a little smaller. Unlock it so you can move it. And you could use this one as a guide. It doesn't have to be exact, at least mine don't. I never try to make everything perfect. Because, oh my gosh, if I try to make everything perfect, it would not be fun for me. That's not fun. And I do crafting for fun. I guess if you do it for a business, you may want it more perfect. Oh, the problem is this is not a smaller size. I need it smaller. 
let's see how big I want it. Let's bring it over here. About like that. Okay. I know it's behind there, but I can see the outside edge. You go down there. You go there. Now I'm going to make this one match that. Oh, we got to unlock it. And then slice that. And then, now you could do different things. You could do a bunch of squares and slice them differently. I want to select this and center and slice. You guys, this stuff is so easy. You could also, holding on the shift key and turning this so it stops, you could do some other slicing. Uh -huh. I don't want it this one even. Maybe like that. Slice. Every time you slice, you have to move two pieces out of the way. Oh, and these pieces. Now, if you were to do something like this, let's bring that to the front. So arrange front. Let's turn this one. You would have a puzzle to put together, kind of. And you wouldn't have to put them together in the same area. That's kind of cool. But remember, if you're doing this out of paper, these pieces will all be pieces. And you'll have to look at this if you want it placed in the exact same spot again. Is that kind of, that's kind of cool. Okay, now, do you guys have any questions about welding or slicing? Now is the time. Thanks, Bobby. Judy Hackbart, you do have access to all of my files. There's hundreds of them. If you go to the community tab and you can't do it from an iPad or a tablet, I don't think, maybe a tablet you can. Um, they're working on that, YouTube is. But you have to go from a computer to my channel and then go to the community um, tab and there is a post there with the password with a link to the website and hundreds of my projects. All my projects I've ever created that I have shared. I mean, some of them are just, like I didn't, sh well, the Tesla one was uploaded, so you can't do that. Can you emboss that? Why don't you ask me that in a few months? Well, you could emboss this with an embossing machine like take these papers out and do it or emboss some of them. That would be cool. Embossing like some of these people, people's, some of these pieces with an embosser and then popping some up and popping some not, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, you can slice pre-made images. Okay, you know what? I'm going to save this one because I kind of like it. Um, I don't know what to call it. Sliced. I call them squares. I know they're rectangles. Started out as a square. Um, I don't know if you can weld print and cut images. Let's go to new. Uh, let's go to images. So what was it? Can you slice? Oh yeah. In slicing images, um, that are already made. Okay. I, I have an idea. Um, I'm going to show you contour. 
Okay, see this image? It's kind of big. Um, do you guys want to know what contour means? Because I saw this. I'm like, oh, this is perfect for contour. So I want these cactuses, but I don't want this word. So I'm going to click contour right down here in the very bottom corner. And I'm going to move this up a little. Oh, my whole thing is down. That's why. There. So you can see the bottom. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Come on back. Okay, I'm gonna select the image, click contour. And I'm gonna take, there's a lot of cuts in here. Oh, I don't know where the words are. Let's just go here. You can select them over here, or you can just click on these, click on each one and see the difference. These are darker and these are lighter. So if they're lighter, Welcome new member. I have to click on each one. So now I got just this. And I can add my own words or my own images and do that if I want. Um, <laughs> Sue, all I did is hit images. Let me see if I can find out where, what it's in. Oh, it's in a cartridge called Got Cacti. Welcome, Carter Hannah. Look at all these. This must be new. Um, okay, let's take this one in. Somebody asked if you could slice already done images. So let's say I want this pot, but I don't want this plant. So I'm gonna take a shape. Now this square is my knife or my cookie cutter or whatever you wanna call it. It's my tool that I'm gonna use to cut off the top. So now I'm going to select these both and click slice. Now, I have this and I can use with other pieces. I could add different. Oh, let's add something else to it. Let's go to images. Let's go to, let's go to plant. I've never searched plant in design space. Huh. That one would work. That's a print and cut. Somebody asked me about welding print and cut. Let's see if it works. Oh, look at those. Meant to be together. So many. Let's click on that one. All right, let's just insert this. Julie is asking if you can pay the 99 cents for one year at a time. And I don't think you can. It's through Facebook. Um, so I, I don't think they let you. I really have no options for payment or anything. Like I, somebody asked me what you can use. I have no clue what Facebook does. I know I have my account set up to it, but. So you could, and I think, yeah, this is a print and cut image. So I, we're going to see if we can weld this just because somebody asked. Let's weld it. There you go. It will not keep the printing image. It will keep it as this and change it to a cut file. Could add that to it. Could change that to the front. That looks cool. See, you can take images in Design Space. That's why it's so good to have access because access gives you every single thing that has this little green A and all the fonts that have that little green A, you get to use for free. 
And I have not shown you the new cartridges lately because no one sent them to me lately. Recently added. Oh, because there's no recently added with the word plant. Oh, these are new. Gobble till you wobble. Oh, this is cute. This graduation pictures. I like this one. Come and get it's yummy. Graduation silhouette. Welcome, Vicky. Summer so the moon made me do it. That's new. <gasps> Look. Solar system printables. Such a cute little guy. I like him, astronaut. These are nice. Alligator. Is this solar system? Yeah. Never stop looking up. Oh, I like the sun. I love the sun. I have a tattoo of a sun on my ankle. Oh, you guys, I, we got to look at this one. Uh, where can you get info on all the joining options? I think Jamie just hit it. If you hit type in support, Nightbot usually gives you that. Yes, there you go. Or you, the group on Facebook is 99 cents. That one's not in there. Look at all these. That's really cool. I like this sun the best, I think. Oh, I like that one. Ronald, you are awesome. If you search Melody Lane on Facebook, you might find the group also. You'll find all my groups. So awesome. All right, guys. I already know what we're doing next week, but I forgot. My assistant wrote it down for me. But I had a great idea. I'm like, let's do that next week. And I even told somebody else, I'm going to do that a week from Saturday. I can't remember. This is why I need an assistant. This is what she's good for. So I want to thank all of you who support my channel because you guys help me pay for my assistant. Without you guys, I would not be having an assistant. I would not be doing a lot of these giveaways I've been doing. I would not be doing all the videos I'm doing. It wouldn't happen because my creativity part of this work would be less because I have to do more of the business part and take care of things and all that stuff I don't like to do. My assistant does. I love her, Janet and Callie. I have two assistants. Callie, Janet helps. Callie does my business more part of it. And Janet helps me with the creative side and helps me do test cuts and cuts things out and sometimes puts things together for me. All right, guys, I love you. I'm going to let you go because we're going to get ready for the next video with the supporters and with the Patreons. Yeah, you can always pre-watch the video. For those of you who are new to Design Space and you really want to learn everything, I suggest you watch one of my videos. I have some for beginners, but really a lot of them that you can learn as a beginner. Um, watch the video. And have some people watch a video on iPad and then are on the computer on Design Space. Or you can have two tabs open. Or you can just pause. You watch me do a step in Design Space. Pause the video. You repeat exactly what I did. If it does not turn out just as I did, go rewatch that little part. You can rewind the video a little. And then uh, you try it again until you get it right. Because... 
And if you can't get it right, then uh, message me or go to my group and ask or comment below the video and ask a question. Because you're not going to learn everything just by watching. You have to do it. At least that's how I learn. I have to actually do it to learn it. Uh, Kathy, I have used the art glitter glue for the faux leather. Some people have not had good luck with that, but I have. It has worked. Thank you, Ronald, and thank you, everybody, for the thumbs up. Thank you, Glenda. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Bobby. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate all that you do for me. Uh, Asana is asking, how do you get on the Patreon chat? If uh, I posted it on Patreon. So if you go to patreon.com slash Melody Lane and you must be logged in, you can go click on post and you can see the past post of it says real big patreon hangout and i'll have the links for that do you lose embossing with this machine i'm not sure what you mean all right guys thank you so much thanks for chatting from facebook and twitch and we will see you Tuesday in another video if I don't see you right after this one. Bye.